Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this um, wax haul slash my melting basket for the week. Um, I think I'm going to start doing this whenever I do a wax haul um, and I've done up my wax um, basket for the week. I might like film it as a separate clip um, and then add it on to whatever wax haul, um, or if I have a sticker and wax haul, I'll add it on to that as well. Um, maybe make it a separate video if it becomes one that's long, but I don't think that part's gonna be very long. It's just kind of, um, if you don't know, Melting Basket is just, um, well, I'll, I'll talk about it when I get to that part. So let's start with the haul though, because that's, I'm excited about that, like super excited. I mean, I'm excited about sharing my Melting Basket now too, but, um, yeah, I'm like super excited about this haul. So, um, this is from Nerdy Wax. Um, it, I haven't ordered, no, I feel like I'm ordering from them like at least once a month now. Um, because like their releases are just so good and like I'm really liking the, the themes of them, um, and everything lately. So, um, I feel like once a month at least I'm ordering from them. Um, so semi regularly. Um, but yeah, so this is, so normally it comes in a, like, mailer, um, this box comes in a mailer, and then there's a little thank you, um, I know most of you are probably have watched these, like, a hundred times and already know, like, yes, yes, I got it, Suzanne, there's packaging, but just for the new ones, if you guys are, or if you haven't ordered from them before or whatever, and you want to know what their packaging is like, um, and they always have this super cute Pixar sticker, um from their lately they've been using them um from their anniversary uh and then we dive into the main box so you'll see that there's a starburst wrapper here um there were two starbursts or two packages of starburst um they always throw like a little bit of candy treat um in here uh gummies um starburst lollipops like all kinds of you know just different little candy um and i already ate mine i just wanted to remember to mention that in the haul that there were starbursts so i saved the wrapper because i was like i don't want to forget that there was candy in there and people be like what no candy because that's like one of their signature things is there's always lots of freebies um, I, like, they're just amazing. Um, so, this next the little white piece of paper is my order slip. So, I think I, I think it's pretty clear everything that I bought, but, um, and then this is their little, um, card that they put in there. Um, and then I got tons of little freebies, again, with the Starburst, too. So, just tons of freebies. Um, and it was amazing. So I'm gonna put those aside and we'll go over those. Um, and then as always, they have like super cute confetti. Um, it still reminds me of like Wally. -E. And then this is my actual order. I'm just gonna pull everything out. So it's always nice and safe. Um, it doesn't mean that their shipping is quite expensive. So I try not to order just a few things because it doesn't seem to be worth it with the shipping. Um, I try to save up and um, make a bigger order at once. So when I I wanted to order a lot of the Loki ones, but I really only ended up wanting three, the three that I got, or no, I'm sorry, four that I ended up getting. But two were like little ones and I'm just like, this doesn't seem like enough. So then they just had a, um, Harry Potter release, doing the third book, Chamber of Secrets. Um, and I was like, yes, I need, I wanted, well, I wanted all of them, like literally all of them, but I couldn't do that this month. So <laughs> at this time, so I just picked the three that sounded like my favorite. So there's my order, but we'll go over the freebies first. So first thing as part of the like, um, Harry Potter theme, I got some washi, which is super cute. It looks like it's from Creativity and Ink. Um, I, I, I mean, these ones aren't labeled um, and they're unwrapped, so I'm not, I'm pretty sure that they probably all came together. Um, I haven't seen anything, I didn't see anything pop up on Instagram about it, but maybe I missed it. Um, but yeah, and then it's got the pink one here has a bunch of different spells. So Expecto Patronum. Um, Alohomora, Redu uh, Reducto, Expelleramus, uh, Lumos, Stupefy, and oh, okay, I was like, except, uh, ex except, <laughs> it's like, 
edge of the thing and so of course it was like stupefy mixed with expecto patronum so it's super funny um anyway <laughs> there i am trying to read stuff that doesn't make sense um and then the next super cute thing was this little pop socket i'll take it out of the try to take it out of this packaging oh my gosh come out okay garbage over here so super cute little always um with the xfinity symbol and then harry potter glasses this is really popular like uh fan art symbol um that i see everywhere people get tattoos of it and i think it's super super cute so um and then the little stars so cute i love it um awesome little pop socket i've been like hanging mine because i don't really use them anymore um so i've been like hanging mine on my basket um baskets that hang on the wall next to me and, like putting them in between the basket rungs and then like putting them in there so my once more with love one that i got for um i think it was the birthday sale or anniversary i can't remember which one it was <laughs> but that's on there now so um yeah so anyways and then this is the freebie um wax melt so it's like a little um it's basically like i would say essentially like a um what are these one not one ounce yeah one ounce shot yeah so this is like a one ounce shot basically um because i was like i didn't order this right because there was also this one too but sometimes he does multiple uh, wax freebies but anyway so golden such snitch fig and honey which was intrigued by and then there's little snitches on there they're so cute it's a very like i'm finding I'm, i don't think i like honey smells or i don't know if it's everybody keeps putting honey with like earthy toned things and so maybe like the fig smell is what i don't like but like, it doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't, it smells super earthy, and not, like, something I necessarily want to smell all the time, um, so, or, like, for a lot of time, <laughs> so this would be perfect for the bathroom, honestly, it will, um, I feel like they melt better than they smell in here, because I got the Wally one, which, funny enough, is actually in my melting basket, this one here, um, and this is plant life pear, agave, nectar, and moss, and this they smell very similar and I'm wondering if it's the nectar kind of smell or is it no it's agave nectar so I don't know but it's just that earthy smell I think um that I'm not like super fond of but the Wally actually melts a lot smells a lot better melt melting than it does in the container so hopefully it'll be the same for the golden snitch next i love these like i actually thought this was candy for a second i was like oh my god that's so cool and then i was like no suzanne that's why i don't eat it um so these are sour sugar gummies and they smell just like gushers like i love their they're all like um gemstone shaped so they're super cute little ones that are perfect like you could probably melt all of this together in a small melter maybe or you could just melt like one or two i probably get, like, at least two um, melts out of this in, like, a smaller melter, like a bathroom one or something like that. But oh, it smells so, like, fruity and gummy smelling. Like, it really does smell like sugar gum, like gummy, like juicy, like, um, gushers. It really, it just smells just like them to me. Um, or really like any kind of like sour gummy things, but that just made me think of Gushers, especially with the colors and stuff. Like it just made me think of Gushers. Okay, so first we'll do Loki. So I actually got four and only three of the Harry Potter. Um, but, because I think at first I wasn't going to get the big ones. I was just going to get a bunch of little ones. And then I was like, no, that's not enough with the um, cost of shipping. So I ended up getting the big ones and then they had the harry potter release so of course i was like oh yeah no i definitely need to buy this um so we'll start with a little one so here's sylvie she's obsession perfume apple peels pineapple and plums and then just green and 
sparkly in the middle. This one smells so good. Like, I'm definitely getting that perfume smell. It just, it smells super familiar too. Like, I might have had the Obsession perfume before or something similar to that. It just smells really familiar. I like it a lot. It definitely would be a really good bathroom or bed bedroom smell for sure. So then we've got the Timeline, Rose Petals, Ripe Cherries, Plums, Orchids, and Aloe Vera. And it's cool. They did a little like, oh, here's the Timeline and then a variant and all that. Like, I like that. This one, again, smells really, like, um, perfumey, like a cologne, more more so than maybe a perfume. Definitely getting a lot of the rose, but I'm also getting the cherry. Not really getting an aloe vera smell. I'm sorry, my sniffing is really loud. I was just thinking about that. I was like, wow, I'm, like, sniffing right into the camera. Um, <laughs> so, God of Mischief is the next one. Green apples and... Uh, men's cologne. Oh, I love this one. So, of course, we've got he's like a gray brown color with a green and then um, what looks like canned cuffs maybe? Yeah, they look like canned cuffs. Yeah, okay, it must be the little like when he gets picked up. Oh, it smells so good. I love the green apple smell. And then it does kind of have the like men's cologne, like mus like musky mini mini smell, um, <laughs> manly smell. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word. So yeah, I love that. That's a definite bathroom burner. And then I think this one was the favorite. Yeah, I think this one was the favorite of myself and my husband. Um. I love this. So this one is Breaking Reality. So you've got the Tesseract, which is so cool. Like, I love, like, the blue. Like, can you see the shiny on that? Like, that's so cool. I love it. And then you've got, of course, the, like, crayon blue around it. Like, I love it. Oh, this one just smells so good. Like, even better than it smelled last night when I smelled it the first time. I'm definitely getting that fresh air, like kind of making my nose a little cold like I feel like I'm actually breathing in like cool fresh air and then um definitely getting the pineapple coconut and the cherry smell like the fruity smell but definitely that pineapple smell I love smells like this so much this is so good so definitely excited to melt that that'll be a struggle if I melt it in the bedroom or I melt it out here in the living room it's really big though so I feel like it would probably overflow the one in my living room because it's a smaller dish um whereas the one in my bedroom is a bigger dish so maybe this one would be a better bedroom one but love that so much now we get into the harry potter ones so first off is Sirius black and he is my favorite harry potter character um especially from like the main harry potter like storyline um otherwise it's new commander because of course he's like the best hufflepuff ever um but <laughs> and i'm a hufflepuff um but yeah but otherwise i love sirius um a lot my next goal in tattoos is to get one of his wand runes um i want to either have it going like down the base of my neck and down my spine um or either across my shoulder and down so i can't decide which one i want but I think, I think I might go with the down the shoulder thing. Um, but anyway, so this is Sears Black and it's a little paw print and it's so cute. Can you see? I'm like knocking the camera trying to get close. Here, just pull it out. And it's the paw print. It's so cute. I love that. And then the smell. It's just so like, it's definitely very like musky. It's a little earthy. I feel like the peppermint and limoncello actually really balance out the earthy tone. And it almost smells like someone who smokes, like, like, I don't know, like, yeah. Like someone who sits by a fire, like, just almost got like a fireplace smell to it. 
don't know. It's, it smells like someone who's been, like, on the run and is camping out. And, like, you know, just like he was um, in the third. You know, not, not exactly smelling, like, fantastic, but, like, not bad either. <laughs> um, I just, I love him. I just always was, like, just felt so bad for him and everything that happened to him. And, um... And everything in the books and then I love I just love uh, Gary Oldman playing him in the movies and just it's just awesome so anyways um yeah okay I was so excited about that I was like okay no Sears Black is on it I have to get it and then of course I had to get his buddy Buckbeak um because it's ocean breeze salty air and sandalwood so I was really hoping this would be a dupe for that other one that I loved and it's not but it's still really good um, I love the silver feathers. They're so pretty. This is so cool. Like, I'm really not going to want to melt this one because it's just so cool looking. But yeah, you're definitely getting that like salty ocean smell, the sand, like it's all there. It smells really good. Again, that kind of like not musky smell, just manly smell, like, just those deeper scents, right, um, those, like, deep non-florally type, type scents, um, and then this is the Night Bus, lavender, fresh cotton white, flowers, and vanilla, my husband said this smells exactly the way that I do, so I thought that was super sweet, um, so yeah, and then I love the night bus. Like, that whole scene just cracked me up in the movie. And I loved it in the book. Like, it just sounds so cool. I have the Lego for it, too. So, I love the night bus. And Ernie. Uh, so, we got purple with purple sparkles. Uh, this one does smell super good. So, this is what I smell like. I smell good. <laughs> Mm, yeah, this smells like the tanning lotion that I have now. Um, I, I got a new one, and this smells exactly like it. Plus a little bit like the perfume that I like to wear. So, yeah. I love it. Um, so, yeah. So, that is it for the Nerdy Wax haul portion on this episode. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> of this video. And now, I'm like bumping things again, um, is the wax melt basket. So to quickly explain, um, so that hopefully I won't do this every video in the future, um, a wax melt basket. So what I used to do was have a basket in every room and then I was like dividing up my waxes and be like, oh, this is a bathroom scent. Oh, this is a bedroom scent. But then there was ones where I was like, well, I want to melt this in the bathroom or the bedroom. Like maybe I'll cut this in half and I'll melt it here. So then I was like going back and forth all the time. And then I had like a storage in the living room, which was like a just huge one. And I was putting everything into the bathroom and bedroom ones <laughs> and like leaving nothing for the living room. Cause I'm just like the scent, because they're smaller rooms, like the scents get stronger and I can really smell them. Whereas in the living room, things aren't quite as strong. So I only really smell it if I'm like in the kitchen or kind of around there. It, they don't carry as well, especially in the summertime when we have the windows open and stuff. I feel like scents just don't stay and carry. Um, so that's been something I'm trying to play around with and figure out as well. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just like, eh, I don't know. Like I, it was just terrible at having three different storage spots for wax all over the house. And then it was just chaos. Um, and so I wasn't really loving it, but it was kind of working. Um, and then I saw, I was seeing a lot of people posting and like Kirsten on fantasy wax, sharing people's wax melt baskets. And I was like, Oh, this really pull wax out. And then that's what they use for the week. Like, how does that really work? Um, that doesn't seem like that would be very like something I would want to do. Like, where would I even store that basket? Like all that stuff. Um, and then Kirsten did her video and she just made it, of course, seem super simple and I'm overthinking things again. So I was like, okay, I put all the wax back into, um, my main storage, um, in the living room, my bigger, um, little basket, or not basket, but like, um, it's one of those fabric cube things that, you know, you can put in the cube shaped storage things, whatever. Um, so it's one of those. So I put all of my wax back in there and then I put, 
um, took one of the little baskets that I'd had. This was the one I had in the bathroom. And I was like, okay, this is going to be my basket for the week. Because it will definitely fit just stuff for the week. Um, and then I went through and just put everything that was new on the bottom. Everything that was older on the top. And then kind of just picked stuff. And I did that last week. And it worked really, really well. We went through all of the wax. And so then it was perfect timing to then um, restart and fill it in. So I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to share it now that I've kind of got a handle on how I want to do things. Um, Kirsten is like randomly like closing her eyes and just picking stuff. I might do that next time, but this time around there was like stuff that I really wanted to use. So I kind of picked those out and like stuff I want to use up. Um, so I was kind of picking those out on purpose, but maybe like I'll pick out what I really need to use and then do a random grab as well. Um, but yeah, anyways, so this is what we're going to melt for a week. So basically, I'm not going to refill this basket until all of this is melted. So it all needs to get used before it gets refilled, um, which ensures that it gets used. Um, and I'll just throw them back in the bin to never be used again. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's dive into it. So I do keep my little plastic knife in here um, for cutting the wax. So I'm just going to put that aside. <laughs> just a little like kid's knife, plastic knife thing or whatever. And it's great for cutting the wax um, when I have like big ones or whatever that I have to cut down. So let, let's start with these ones. So I, these are just like ones that I got at Walmart or Target or Fred Meyer or wherever. Um, and there's just two left in here. So it's perfect to either melt in one of the bigger ones or to split up and melt several days in the um, bathroom. So I figure, and then I can mix them together. They're actually pretty, they're both, you know, berry, apple, peony, wonderland. And then this one's strawberry patch. They both smell amazing and I really like them. I do occasionally just go out and buy clamshells, like especially seasonal ones. Um, I'll go out and like buy those from you know walmart or whatever if they're having a sale somewhere um and just buy kind of the regular clamshells um every once in a while just because like sometimes they're unique scents that um and then i like being able to like smell stuff in person and be able to just pick out what we really like um so yeah anyways so yeah that's those ones um and then next one is ursula's this was a fantasy wax one um, that was part of the Little Mermaid release they did not too long ago. So this one's Blackberry Lemonade. I'm trying to kind of use up my more summery, intense scents, um, as well. So this one was one that I was like, oh, I need to start using this one. So just get the Little Mermaid in there and then it's a clamshell. Um, this one smells so good. I love blackberry and blueberry smells. Apparently, like there's a blueberry cheesecake one we have and oh my it smells so amazing and then this one the blackberry lemonade just smells so good so fruity um and then next i was like oh i really need to melt this one um it's the mint chocolate chip and definitely a good summer scent because me it smells like ice mint chocolate chip ice cream it's just oh, so good oh, exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream um and then i had these ones and i was like oh i need to use the lush stuff um and um, these are perfect for melting in our bathroom one, which is much smaller. So, um, and you can see they're kind of getting a little, a little upset in the bag. So, um, yeah, these were from the Lush collection from Fantasy Wax. Sorry, I don't think I said that. These were freebies that I'd gotten in my order before the Lush bundle came out. This one is twenty five forty three. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it, but definitely a good bathroom scent. And then Olive Branch is this green one. Mm. I'm not really getting their scents anymore. Hopefully when they melt, they've still got a good scent because I'm like kind of getting a scent, but not enough to describe what it smells like. And I definitely remember them being stronger. Um, when I first got them, so. Oh, this one was the really good one. This was the one that was my favorite from the actual bundle. It smells so good. It's kind of sweet, but not like a bakery sweet scent. Um, and then like I showed you earlier, I have Wally and Eve. Um, so 
I wasn't like a huge fan of this one when I got it. Like I just love Wall-E. Um, that movie is just one of my, is my top favorite Pixar movie. Um, so I just, um, yeah, I just wanted it. And I was like, oh, like those sound kind of good. Like plant life, nectar, moss, pear, like it should smell sweet and good and like earthy. But again, it's just that kind of too earthy smell. But now I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. I feel like when you melt it, it smells almost different, like much better than it smells in the bag to me. Um, so we'll probably melt the, that in the bathroom. I feel like a lot of these will get melted in the bathroom. That's when we switch out a lot because that little one is so little. Like you only get, you don't get very much, um, scent for very long. So it lasts about maybe half a day or a day. Um, and then this next one is another, like most of these are fantasy wax ones actually. <laughs> Except this one's from Nerdy Wax. I don't know if I said that and it's on the back. Um, but basically all of them except the two clamshells and the wally one are from their fantasy wax because i literally have ordered every single wax they've made since their beginning so far so i have not missed a release um and i've purchased like basically one of everything um uh, but yeah anyway so this one's kevin um and it's bubble gum so it's from the up bundle and still smells strongly of bubble gum. So I really like the way this smells when I did melt. Um, this was had one more piece to it and I did melt a piece, I think in the bathroom and it actually smelled really good for the bathroom. But I feel like it could also smell really good in our bedroom too. Just give it that sweet candy smell. I don't always like melting food smells in the living room because then I go to like eat something or cook something, especially like baked good scents. And then I'm like, but all I can smell is cake <laughs> and I'm trying to eat like chili, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, but I still do obviously cause they're just so good on there. Um, so this is under the big top. This was from, um, the uh, Dumbo bundle and this one had was like a carnival -y kind of smell. Mm, yes. Yeah, uh, pecan, pralines, and fluffy marshmallows. So, very, like, sweet baked, like, goody smell. Um, again, another good one in the bedroom or bathroom. See, this is a problem. I'm like, oh, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom. But I'm like, they can go to both. But they can, because they're, you know, the bars. So, there we go. I'll do half, <laughs> half of one in the bedroom and half of one in the bathroom. And there we go. So that is my wax basket. Um, and yeah, so that's it for the haul and wax basket reveal. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.